the idea that being comfortable makes you happy is right. a myth. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know if I 100% agree. I think agree. it's hard. I, I, it I makes think, you happy I, for I a little bit. I think being comfortable, I think it helps. It yeah, helps because like, you're I, comfortable. You're not worried. At that's, least you don't that have just to worry. creates stress. It's, it, it provides a degree of security, but in terms of like joy, does it bring you joy and fulfillment? Secure, like comfort? No. No. Not that you need thrills. I'm not talking yeah. about thrills. I'm talking about stretching yourself, whether that be physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, 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 developing a kind of uh, 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 flexibility in your life, which you can't do if you stay comfortable. I, I don't know how to respond to this. I just, I, 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 we I'll may have say. found the person the least like Jimmy Pardo in the world. <laughs> I, I think if you dig deeper, you'll see that we have a lot in common. Yeah. All right. Uh, for one, I, uh, we both have seen her naked. What? Yes. That's probably true. Yeah. Kirsten did a uh, role in a play where my mother and I were in the front row. Yeah. And here comes nudity. Well, the thing is, but, is that I don't way, even know what show you're talking about because I've been naked that many times Well, but put your clothes on, weirdo. Oh, the <laughs> one that your mom was in that I had sex with a man on stage. Yes. Yes, I remember. Yeah, we had to watch that. And then my mom was like, oh, my God, but well, we just saw Garcia. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. And we were, uh, because Judy is also, Judy played like a, a doddering, senile she, old woman. She had a that? stroke. She yeah. had a, because uh, the husband uh, that I was, it was a wonderful play written by a, a fantastic Los Angeles playwright named Eric Patterson and it was about two people that had the same kind of stroke and he was younger and she was right. older and but they so they connected and I was having an affair with a guy and the whole beginning of the second act mm -hmm. naked yeah wow and because uh, we're there to see Judy we get the we get there early and so Danielle and myself and my mother are all in the and probably Walter are all in the front row and it's it's just a tiny it's a 48 seat theater and one of the interesting things about it is it was a couple of pages of a monologue and the the playwright distinctly said he and naked so we did it and I was sitting on the bed and you have to like you know you're like I'm gonna stretch myself be an actress and you're sitting on the bed and there's there's no like it's not it's not like you're up here and they're down here it's if i'm i don't know how to explain this anatomically you know not, uh, my i'm sitting on that bed and you can just look right <laughs> okay yep. there's the universe yep. if you weren't if you, and and you know but that's what i mean becoming flexible i did not enjoy that i was you did shy not enjoy and, that i well at a certain point once you're naked and you realize that you have to be you have a choice there is a kind of like uh, uh, like all of your shame, everything's just there for everyone to see. So you kind of just give up. So that sort of surrender feels good. But it's not like I was walking around being like, mm. I just love that everyone, no. Bro, okay. <laughs> No. Uh, I didn't really see a lot of that scene because I was sitting next to my mother. So your monologue was, I very much enjoyed the audio version of the monologue and stared at the wall and uh, didn't know what my, if I wish you was a lot of nudity. I don't know what you're speaking of, mother. Yes. Oh, this program's fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, you see her? She was also in this production. Did you see that? I caught up on that during that monologue. It I'm was... also just remembering that you get stage fright sitting at a computer. <laughs> yeah. So oh, yeah. what was that? To, to go it's from that to full nudity in front of a live audience i've done it a extreme. couple of times i've done that nudity thing because that's what note note we push some give us some envelopes and we'll get it right across the table um uh so yeah i think i think jimmy got to look at that envelope <laughs> yeah he did he got, I, I he got right in that envelope just right down there um no it's not comfortable but it makes me happy i mean i i am pretty joyous and it might be because i've been naked on stage a few times cool. maybe to hear the whole conversation subscribe for free on apple podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts or visit nevernotfunny.com